what is Wi-Fi Halo and why would you want to be interested in it? Keep it simple, keep it real. Now, one of our biggest um, opportunities that we currently work with is the Shed Link, which is a product that connects a house to a shed. It's a very simple scenario um, and it's actually very popular and it's very common that people have internet in the house and I want to have a connection, not necessarily the full-blown internet um, capability, but I want a connection to the shed or outside um, garage or garage, or whatever you want to call it, or something out there. But there is more to the need than just a shed link. Um, there's basically a big need in rural places or places where it's hard to find a connection from a main situation, your main house, to let's say cameras on the um, outer corners of your property or somewhere far away. You just want connectivity. You just want to know what's going on, which comes to the point of calling it IoT, Internet of Things. So it's really just getting a thing out there. It could be a camera, could be a, a device, some trigger, some monitor. You want a connection to that location, but it's quite far away. This is where Halo comes in. So Halo is a, I'm just going to read it out because I actually have a, a a copy of um, the extract from the um, Wi-Fi page in front of me. So Wi-Fi Halo is designed to be a kilometer range type of connection. So just having a local low, low performing, like no low bandwidth, but high distance connection to a remote device is the main idea of Halo. So it can be driven by a coin cell, so basically really small batteries. It's low power. That's the idea that it's not going to be full-blown streaming videos. Like you can, The idea is not that you sit in a remote place and you watch a 4K video. The idea is that you have a connection, and even if it's a CCTV camera, that you just have that connection coming back. So probably not 4K, maybe 4K. We'll do some tests. Um, why not? I mean, it may be possible. Um, but a, a CCTV camera and a CCTV camera that you can get long-range connectivity back to the main property. Also have some, some basic internet. So if, if it's just about getting emails going, browsing the internet, that is a sensible use case where you can actually use Wi-Fi Halo to have a long range. And that's the idea with the technology. It's been around for a few years now, but it's really starting to become more uh, prominent where people realize, but if you want long range connectivity, there is a way to go that doesn't need, that doesn't use Wi-Fi as such, like the classic Wi-Fi. Because um, there's this kind of really two mindsets here. You want to go fast, or you have to use Wi-Fi or something else. That's the classic one. But you can't go far. And when we go far, it's, I always really want, this is this hard place where I live. Um, there might be mountains, there might be a lot of tree coverage, there might be something in the way that's just obstructing it. Now, why is Halo working so well? The, for me as an antenna RF person, for the first thing is it works in a low frequency band. So it's called the sub one gig, but basically it works in the um, LoRa WAN frequencies or 900 megahertz. So a lot of antennas that we can use for 4G, we could have used for helium, for instance, um, any LoRa WAN, those antennas, they actually work in where Halo is going to work. So that's already opening up a whole um, new list of opportunities. Um, Low bandwidth, so low throughput, so basic connectivity. But as I said, basic doesn't mean um, useless. It's still quite useful, but don't expect that you have multiple users all going to work through the same device. It's a connection with me, between me and that thing to get a function out of that device. Um, so, I mean, going into nerdy talking, narrowband OFDM channels. So really, it's, it's, it's low bandwidth. Um, and that's really the biggest one is approximately one kilometer, but that one kilometer is the specification. Of course, we're going to push it. We're going to try and get five kilometers out of it. But I think we got 500 for well, 430 meters out of a 5.8 gig Wi-Fi range. So what is not to, to do than to see how far can we go with the um, Wi-Fi halo? Um, that's, that's it in the principles. That's all I have to say about that for now. Now, the big thing is we as RF Shop, um, we are agents for Alpha. And Alpha is actually one of the companies that is really also presenting awesome solutions for that. So we have a few products that's, that's coming along. So first of all, is there's a tube. So the tube has the scenario, and there's a picture on the screen about how um, Alpha currently is planning to use this. So the tube device gets an antenna, 
which comes with cables, comes with an antenna that you can make directional, so you can use any of the directional antennas, such as the DR11 we have, to get a nice gain in a specific direction. On the other side, you get an antenna that has the same gain or something similar, and you can imagine the gain will already be probably way more than one kilometer the range because you are using your passive components to make a very nice link between one and the other. Um, so the tube then gets an Ethernet port, can be connected to a device on one end, can be connected to an internet source on the other end and creates the bridge between them is Wi-Fi Halo but the device at the end on the other side of the tube is just an internet device and of course the other side was your internet source. So they are talking to each other, they just happen to hop onto a connection that is Wi-Fi Halo and the range is much further than your Wi-Fi could have been. The only caveat is you don't want to use something that needs to have fast internet. That's the big thing there. The other products that they have is the um, well, Halo U is, is coming, so that's, that's just an interface to a device that you can use as well, but it's more indoors focused. We are focusing on the tube, and then there is a product calling, called the Halo R that is coming, so that's a little router. You can see it like what we would call a modem, is modem demodulator, whatever, but it translates Wi-Fi into um, IoT. So the same thing would happen here that you have devices connect, disconnect, this device is connected to the Wi-Fi network and then it transmits Wi-Fi Halo and on the other side, whatever you have on the other side to take the Wi-Fi Halo and then connect it into a device. Again, it's range that's the big thing. Or if it's not range, it's about overcoming the obstacles of trees, foliage, um, some, some, some few hills, I won't say mountains, because you won't get over a mountain, but hills and obstructions, trees, buildings, non-line of sight, that's much more possible with this technology. Um, so that's going to happen, that is happening actually as we speak, so more of that product, those products will be present on our website, there will be a landing page on our website soon, um, so have a look on rfshop.com.au, look at the Halo landing page and Keep an eye out for the launch of the Halo R Wi-Fi 2 Halo router. That's going to be a phenomenal product. And um, If you have CCTV cameras on an open piece of property or you want some monitoring on remote gates or something like that status, in, this, is, this is really the product to look for that. So you have your main internet connection and you have all your devices. They all connect to the Halo network and they can be very far away and they just push back the updates that they need to have. That's it. Keep it simple. Thanks for watching. Um, see you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.